Everybody, it's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. Back with some more CSU Rams Dynasty here on NCAA Football 10. Last episode, we got Molly Watt by Alabama 63-7. We kind of all expected that, but we wet the bed and fumbled the bag versus then number 13, Rutgers. We took them down to the wire. We had a chance to win that game a couple times, but the fact that we took number 13 down to the wire and actually outplayed them, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm liking where we're headed, heading into, you know, Mountain West Conference play. Now, I already did a little bit of recruiting because I thought I was recording, but I was absolutely not. My apologies. We went ahead and went a full hour on Paul Harper, and then we went ahead and set up Brett Estes. Uh, you know, we hooked him up for his visit this week. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we uh, have scheduled for him. We have, you know, we're going to talk about campus lifestyle, early playing time, and we're going to take a tour of the city talking about proximity to home. Next, coming in to visit this week, we got uh, Juco Corner Ike Sanders. We're going to go ahead and call this guy as well. Now, with him, the thing he cares about the most is athletic facilities. But it's not something we do well. The thing we do the best, proximity to home, he doesn't really care about. Early playing time, he doesn't really care about. Uh, academic prestige is high. So let's see what happens if we hard sell this. We actually lose points because we're only a C plus. So, you know, it's not really looking good for us to get Ike Sanders, but I do think we're high on his list, but we were able to sway him on academic prestige, which now bumps up to above average boy. So that's a win-win right there. So for Ike Sanders, we're gonna go ahead and talk to the professors and you know, I, just, I really don't know what else we're gonna get in. Athletic facilities probably gonna hurt us and then Coach Prestige, those are the things he care about the most, but you know, the things we do the most, he is really, really low on his list. So we'll have to see how that goes. And then also visiting, we got Anthony Talley, who is, you know, we're second on his list. He's uh didn't really he's not didn't get really really get a warm and fuzzy last time we spoke. So let's go ahead and you know hard sell some things that we know we do well that we can really uh provide for him. Let's see if we can sway that early playtime pitch. We do, we get it up to above average. Um, let's see, is there anything else we want to sway? Can we sway fan base? Looks like no, that went down negative eight. But the fact that we got early playing time up is a plus, and we have some things to talk about here on this visit. So for Anthony Talley, talk to professors, uh, above average, talk about the depth chart, and then he cares about pro potential, but we're gonna talk about fan base. Then we got Carl Latimer, the, uh, you know I mean, Dean out of New Jersey. He's ready for a visit, and I think we're gonna go ahead and bring him in this week. We get two times two on everything we talk to him about right now. So let's see if we can find this pitch very high on early playing time. And that's something we can absolutely, you know what I mean, uh, uh, offer to him. We got Washington State ahead of us and their early playing time is lower than ours. So we're gonna go ahead and downplay theirs a little bit. See them lose a, you know, a few points. He's not too thrilled about that, but we're, one thing we're going to do, we're going to also schedule a visit. But we're going to schedule this visit. We're going to bring him in this week versus Utah. Uh, let's see. We're going to talk about early playing time. We're going to talk about ooh, pretty low on some things. Early playing time. That's the main thing. Um, I guess conference prestige and fan base is low. Maybe proximity to home. Maybe program stability. We'll see how that goes. So as we try to get, you know, some of the higher pr uh, 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 prospects, you know, recruits yeah they're just two stars but they're a higher caliber of two stars some things you know I'm, I'm really still trying to figure out how we're going to finagle and finesse some of those things but we're going to go ahead and quick call some some more of these guys like we got jeffrey henderson here we're above akron so we're going to go ahead we're going to go ahead and give him let's give him 40 minutes there just to talk to him then we got jay culliver we'll go ahead and call him he's happy the last time we spoke so we got f fan base up on him uh, I want to I want to get early playing time for him to care about more. But one of the things to care about the most is proximity to home, which we also have an A plus on. So that's that's a good thing. And I like where we're sitting. All right. So then we come down here to Juco Patrick Wilson. We're number four on his list. Uh, D tackle. Uh, he's go Iowa State TCU and Tulsa are all going after him. We might be wasting our time a little bit here with him, but we're still going to, you know, what I mean, we're still going to entertain and just let them know that we're still hanging around if he's still interested all right so we got recruit dennis berg who is ready to visit i'm gonna bring him in next week during our rivalry week and take a look at some things we got unlocked academic prestige is low that's tough uh can we sway any of these things maybe early playing time we get them up to average that's a plus uh fan base can we sway we do okay so we are getting we're making some making our way up here a little bit he just really doesn't care about academic prestige, so he's pretty set on that. Now we're going to hard sell early playing time, and we're going to get up out of here. Next, ready to visit, we got Tom Mitchell, who we're times two when it comes to recruiting here this week. We're going to bring him in next week versus Air Force as well. And let's see things we need to... Oh, so we got early playing time, which is a plus. We don't really got to go super duper duper hard there. Boom. So he's happy there, and we are number two currently behind East Carolina. 
Let's see what their early playing time is talking about. There's the B. Ours is a B. Ours is a B plus. So well, we'll we'll talk about that last week because we got about an hour left, and we got you know quite a few uh, prospects left, and we got to go after. Here's Kyle Grigsby. We're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna call him to schedule his visit. We're gonna bring him in against Air Force as well. And also we got middle linebacker Joe Sullivan ready to come in and visit. So we're gonna go ahead and schedule that for him as well. All right, boys. So that's gonna do it for recruiting this week. You know, not a lot of changes everywhere else. So you know, I mean, not really a lot to report on. All right, guys. So looking into this week's opponent, we got Utah. If I'm not mistaken, they beat the hell out of us last season. But their B minus is across the board. We're C minus, C plus, C minus. Uh, Kirk and Lee are definitely split between us. And like we already know, we got four total prospects coming through to, uh, to, uh, to you know the visit. And surprisingly, we're negative in turnovers this year. Last year, we led the nation in picks, and we were like plus 12 or 13 turnovers. Now we're negative one, and we got to look to turn that around. So far for Utah, they beat Utah State. They lost to Iowa State, and they beat Air Force. And then you already know what we had going on. We did beat one of our rivals, but then we lost to Bama, lost to Rutgers. So we need to come back here and, uh, you know, shake back a little bit. Hughes Stadium in the heart of Fort Collins, Colorado, becomes the battleground for this college football contest. There's still a lot of warm air out there for tonight's battle between the Colorado State Rams and the Utes of Utah. Brad Nessler here, and I'm joined today with the coach, Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. The football season is underway, and we've got a great matchup between two teams from the Mountain West. Utah is going to have their hands full today trying to defend this passing attack. This quarterback is very good under pressure. He has a quick release, and he runs a great play-action pass that freezes the linebackers. If the pass rush is there, then they can create problems. But don't give this kid too much time, or it's really, really some big trouble. All right, guys, thanks. Let's send it down now to the coin toss so we can just about get this thing going. All right, boys, so we skipped the kickoff and get straight into the game. Here we go. Let's lock in. Let's see who wants to make a play, man. Come on, boys. Lock in. Get there. Oh, Smith misses the tackle. Oh, are we really going to give up a touchdown first play of the game again? We do not. Oscar Rader catches him. But it's not a good look. We see in the screen. Y'all got to get there and attack it. You know what I mean? All right, so they go to the, they go to the air early. You feel me? Kind of expect it. Here's the run to the left. Smith there to make the play. Come here, dummy. All right, second and eight. I think they're going to go to the field, to the, to the air again. But one thing about Utah that I know just from playing them in these games, they do like to establish the run. He just kind of, you know, I was trying to say he just kind of warped up there, but it's all good. I'm selling out for the run. You already know what time it is. Let's go. It missed the tackle. Smith, come on, baby. Dog, see, it's coming back. But that can't happen. When we meet him in the backfield, we got to make the play. All right, boys, so third and two. Third and 12, excuse me. You know what I mean? Finally, the, the holding works, it works in our favor. Come on, make a play. Just make a tackle, fellas. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Let's go. It was their error that caused us to get a stop, but we got a stop nonetheless. Let's score. I changed up my playbook again. I changed from Florida to Ohio State and then back to Florida, and now we're here rocking out with the Houston playbook. You know what I mean? So we're going to see how that goes. Nate Joseph there. Oh, good move. Beautiful move. You know I mean, so now that we're at conference play, we should be able to establish the run a little bit better. You know what I mean? A lot of guys out there, you know, the comment section want to coach me and say, do this and do that. And, you know, you miss this person. Hindsight's 2020. Of course, you can see it after the fact. But, you know, like, you know, I, I've been playing college football games for a long time. I, I have a good idea of what I'm doing there as our run gets stuff. I want to, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to establish, not necessarily establish the run, but sometimes I just want to, you know, uh, I want to be able to, to keep with the run, but, we, you know, when we're, ah, oh, come on, we're going for it, too. Oh, we got the first down. Let's go. But, you know, when we're, when we're constantly being stuffed in the backfield and then we're losing, it's hard to just, you know, it's hard to, to you know, commit to the run. Oh, come on, Malone. Don't fumble. Don't fumble. There we go. Take what they give you. Let's get it. All right, third and seven, man. You know what I mean? Hard, hard to move the ball a little bit here, but we're not going to give up. Let's go. We already proven that our defense can come up with stops. Boom, make the throw. Yeah, he was in the way. He was in the way, but, you know what I mean, the, the, the pressure got to us. All right, so both defenses come up with a stop, you know what I mean, on the offense's first drive. Now it's time to see who's really going to continuously do so. Ah, how did he get that throw off? There's too many of y'all there, fam. We're going to get off the field here. I need you to make tackles. Torian Curry nowhere near him. And number two, it's coming back again. Let's go. You got to love having, you got to love, you got to love our your opponent having such an undisciplined offensive line, baby. Third and four. Bring that ad back, back. All right, third and four, boys. Here we go. Man in motion. Look up and look alive, fellas. 
Ah, he's out of bounds. No way. No, no. I'm challenging that. 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 Coach challenge. Challenge the catch. Let's go. Let's see what they say, man. No, no way his foot was in bounds there, fam. There's no way. Zero chance. Unless they're counting that as a toe drag. Wow, they did. So we lose a timeout there, man. I just didn't think that was a. I didn't think that was, you know what I mean, a catch, but it is what it is. He lets it go. Somebody make a play on the ball, Smith. Oh, my goodness. We were in position to make a play, and we just didn't make it, man. Here we go, second and ten. Let's get it. Got one over the middle. Jacob Hill Jr., way to hold on to the ball, baby. All right, first and ten. Let's go. Boom, go with the counter play to Joseph, and we pick up positive yards. I'm cool with that, as long as we didn't get tackled in the backfield. I'm trying to be stubborn enough to, you know, to keep running the ball here today. When it might not, you know, necessarily work in our favor, but we're, we're going, we're going, to, we're going to see how it works, man. They are in zone. Boom. Way to cut it back. That a boy Joseph. That a baby. First down and more. Down at the fifty. Let's go. Boom. Hand off to Joseph. Oh, come on, baby, get skinny. Fall for it. Let's go, dog. Come on. Remember, in the beginning of this season, the campus newspaper said we're only going to go as far as what Nate Joseph takes us. And uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna see how true that is here, you know what I mean, here in the, 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 the latter part of the season. All right, first and 10, boom. We keep it. Got one wide open, boom. It's our guy, White, and he gets the first down, baby. Let's go. Uh, get rid of it. We're out of the box. Let's go. All right. For once, we don't get intentional grounded. That's forced. He, he had to step on Brent. I thought, mm. One in the backfield. He passes it. Come on, make a play, knock it loose, Melvin. Actually a pass. I was all over that. I was all over that. What a throw by the quarterback. I thought for sure that was a pick six. All right, we got third and four. Let's go up the field here, boys. It's a run. I over pursued with Smith. God dang it. Man, when the computer puts their foot in the ground in this game, boys, <laughs> ain't, nothing you, ain't nothing you could do about it. Ah, I guess run and I guess wrong. Hey, sir. That a boy, wait, hold on to it. Why? Let's go, baby. Now remember, we have people visiting in this game, man. So it is imperative that we play well. At least make it competitive. You dig what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Yes, sir. Here's White again. Oh, he's got a little bit of wheel, a little bit of speed. They bring him down inside the 35, baby. Let's go. Oh, Joseph, wait, hold on to it. I seen him a little late. Gotta get it there. Inside. Die. All right, boys, so we proven we get a stop. We proven we can score. We just got to take advantage, you know what I mean, when the opportunity's there to make a play on the ball, force a turnover, make tackles. Smith doesn't do that. Ostrander, oh, my God. Did y'all see that? Come on. Oh, my. We have to be able to tackle. Right now, our, right now, our problem is we're not tackling. Let me show you guys something. Big hits. Is on square. I have it on short tackling. Strip ball is on wrap up. We're supposed to just be wrapping up here, dog. We can't get it done. All right, man. So we got two minutes left here. 206 to be exact. Trying to put points on the board. Boom. Jacob Hill's open. Way to get it there. Way to hold on to it. First down, baby. On the ball. Let's go. Let's see what play we can switch to here. Let's go with a deep pass. Probably looks like the same play. Boom. We're back. There's the blitz, and luckily, he overthrows everybody. And Jared Malone goes down. Oh, my goodness, bro. All right, guys, so this is going to be our first look at our at our uh, backup marks. Hey, marks. I need, you to, I need you to throw dots here, baby. I need you to throw dots here, baby. Here's Brent Thomas, baby. Face mask. Let's go. First down and more. They're going for the strip. Hold on to the rock, fellas. Let's go. So, Jared Malone is out for the game. Bruised ribs. All right, man. So, Marks is our guy. Here we go. Here's the blitz. Come on, Rouse. Come on, Rouse. I need you to hold on to that. All right, third, third and ten here. Come on, Marks. I need you, baby. Oh, almost picked off again, yo. These our receivers are getting strapped up. So we're going, we're going to put points on the board here, man. A little bit of wind in our face. But the kick is up. The kick is good. The true freshman walk on Graham knocks it through, baby. Let's go. All right, you see the quarterback Mitchell for Utah. 12 for 13 today, bro. Let's see if we can get off the field here. 
Ah, oh my goodness. Once again, tackling has been one of our one of our damaging blows here today. What? Yo, we're in man coverage. How's he so open, fam? I want to know what happened there. Ooh, I, I thought he was gonna put me on Smith. They put me in the corner, and I ran out to play. Oh, was, hey, hey, hey! A pick here is a pick here is huge. Twenty-five seconds left here. The defense isn't even playing bad, bro. It's a run. Oh wow! Way to get it up the middle. Smith there to make a tackle. He drags everybody in. They pick up the first. Wide open, bro. Oh, this Utah offense is too much for us, man. All right, guys, so we're going into the locker room down 18. It's not looking too good for the home team, boys. We got to find a way to get it together. I'm pretty sure we get ball to start up the second half, and the first thing we got to do is put points on the board. All right, man, so our run game was, was pretty solid early on, but when you're down, you just can't continuously run the ball, bro. You just can't. Boom, there's a pass to Mike Rouse. I believe that's his first catch of the day. All right, second and three. Hand off to Joseph. Way to cut it up the middle. First down, baby. Yes, sir. Boom. Oh, beautiful block in there. Beautiful blocking. I will take the positive yards. Got to get it there. Kelly, you got to hold on to it, big dog. Come on, baby. Where do you get it there, Marks? All day to throw, though. I will say that. I will say that. Wow, what a pass. I don't know what the flag is. It might be defensive pass interference. What a dot, though, from Marks. Pass interference on the defense. We're going to decline that. What a dot from our, uh, from our backup, bro. He's capable. I mean, we got some capable guys out here, man. You let us see it. Oh, off, Mark's off the run. Mark looks like he's a dog. I am double tapping the dive button, and he refuses to slide. All right, we go. Third and ten. Here we go. I got to pick it up. Throw the ball. That a boy. Wait a little bit. Bang. Let's go. All right, boys, so Utah doing what they've been doing, man. They're moving the ball up and down the field. Their quarterback continues to kill us, dog. I really don't know what we need to be great out here, but I know one of the things we need to do is stop him. <gasps> Let's go, boys. Stop playing. Way to tackle in the backfield, Smith. Empty backfield set. Is it a run? It is not. Wow, bro. Like, their, their play calling is immaculate right now. It's somebody always open for him. Mitchell, 17 for 19, 345, four touchdowns on the day. I mean... It doesn't get much better than that, bro. And they're probably running to the left. Boom. How does he? What a run by that running back. Okay. Second and three here. I'm selling out for the run, man. Will it finally work out in our favor? Will it finally work out in our favor? We just cannot tackle. I can't tackle. The computer can't tackle. Nobody on this team can freaking tackle. Nobody can tackle on this team, bro. It's frustrating, fam. Where the back from? Come here. That a boy, Smith. All right, second and 14. Here we go. It's a run. I'm there with Toro and company. Come on. Third and 18, boys. Here we go. Stop playing with me, dog. Stop playing with me, dog. You, oh, you really, you really still came at me watching me lurk. How dare you, Mitchell? Come on. Our second and 13 here. We know. We know. We good. Marks runs a hell of a lot better than Malone. Get up. Finally, we slide. Thank you. Joseph open out of the backfield. Oh, he, he bobbled it, dropped it, caught it. Got the first, baby. Come on, man. Way to, way, hey, way to stay focused there, Nate. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Nate Joseph. I, I'm trying to spread. I'm trying to I'm trying to take the top off the defense. It's there. It's there. It's Oh, my God, folks. It's there. I, I saw that a blitz or something was coming, and Marks just could not get it there, man. Missed opportunity for sure, fam. Wow, that's, that sucks and that hurts. That sucks and that hurts. Oh, and throw it. I'm trying to drop it off the triangle. Can you make that throw in the throw? Make that throw in a run. He can, but Thomas got to hold on to it. All right, boys, you know what time it is. Get them fours up, man. We are trying, bro. We are just unable to, you know, go across that threshold, man. Come on. All right, fourth and nine. I think we can pick this up, dog. I think we can pick this up, fellas. I honestly do. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly silly enough to think that we can pick this up, bro. I'm honestly silly enough to think we can pick it up. Mike Rouse, come on. That that took a hell of a catch right there. That took that took a gutsy catch right there, fam. Let's go. Come on, Marks. Come on, Marks. Come on, hold on to it, baby. 
Damian Mason is down. We just dropping like flies out here. Gotta get it there. White is having a hell of a game. White is having an amazing game today, dog. Ah, uh, nowhere to go. That's dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh, went in the bed, dog. Man, so we're getting stops here, but like once again, the offense is struggling without our quarterback. Without our starting quarterback here. No, oh, how do we miss that window? How do we miss that window? You're right there to make a play on the ball, fam. That happened against that happened against Julio Jones as well. Oh, actually, what happened is his teammate got in the way. He was his teammate stopped him from going towards the ball, bro. Waters five for one thirty three on this here today, bro. Man, this is tough right now, bro. Of course, they're gonna start working on the clock naturally. Why is he wide open? All right, here we go. Here we go. Marks. He's open. Get it there. White. I can't even be mad at White. He's had such a big game today. All right, this is it, boys. This is what we got left. Back to pass. Got to try to. Yeah, I had to. I mean, I don't know why Coach called that play. Nobody was really going to the first down marker. But, hey, man, we, we, we played as well as we could with our backup. All right, guys, so we end up losing this one by 32. Piss poor tackling. Inability to move the ball. Inability to clutch up when we needed it. You know, I mean, his game was a lot closer than what it seemed, but their quarterback absolutely had a field day on us here. I mean, Jared Malone wasn't having the, the the greatest of days, but, you know, I mean, wasn't sacked at all. You know, Mark's nine for 32, the one touchdown, two picks uh, on the ground. Joseph was heating up, but we went down through the air. Malik White, you know, what I mean, Malik White, one of one of our uh, Juco subscriber recruits that we just got in. He went off today. First uh, like breakout game. Five, five catches, 113 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Joseph, three. Hill, three. Rouse, three. Two for Brent Thomas. You know, he had a touchdown. But let's take a look at these drops. Thomas had four freaking drops today, dog. Black and wise. Let's see. King gave up a sack. Austin gave up a sack. Olsen gave up a sack. Defensively, Torian Curry let us in tackle seven all solo. He also had a sack. Uh, we caught one pick by Johnny Hall, one of our, another one of our freshman recruits, but in the end, it wasn't enough to, you know, really make a splash into the game. All right, boys, here we are moving on to week six. Take a look at recruiting. Take a look at our visits. Uh, Estes had a C plus visit, C visit for Latimer. We go up to uh, number one on his list and then a C visit for Ike Sanders. So I just wanted to come in here and check out and see how that went for us. Ultimately, man. You know, we, we got a lot of work to do, but we can come right back, you know what I mean, with a conference game, and it's a rivalry game. This week, we're going to be taking on Air Force next episode, and we need one more rivalry win to keep our promise to one of our recruits. So hopefully we can come out here and get a dub. This season is off to a lot worse start than it was last year, but I feel like we could turn it around. So hopefully you guys enjoy, man. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you are new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Letting you go, I was just letting you know I know the weather is cold, but you on your own I ain't no regular Joe, should've left me alone I'm in the zone, I'm where the predators roam We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne This ain't no regular poem, this ain't that regular tone, no Do you